Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor for those of you who have never been here before and in today's video we are talking about a bunch of things that weren't in the Sims 4 base game when the game launched in September of 2014. Back then the game was a lot different and if you haven't watched my video about why the Sims 4 will never be great that talks all about Project Olympus and why the game is kind of not as good as it could be, uh, you should definitely watch that video. I will have it linked down below. When the game launched, there were a ton of popular things missing that were in previous games that were kind of staples to The Sims universe that just weren't there, and a lot of players were very confused about it. So we're going to go over a bunch of things that have been recently added or previously added at some point in the last six years of The Sims 4 and just talk a little bit about each and how excited I am that they all exist now. <laughs> If you've never been on this channel before, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and in a previous video I asked you guys to leave comments, and a lot more of you started talking in other videos as well because I asked you guys to leave comments, so like, leave me a comment. Let me get to know you guys. I love talking to you in the comments, so I'll try to answer all of the comments, at least for the first few days. So the very first thing on this list is ghosts. Ghosts were added in a patch for The Sims 4 a little bit after it came out, honestly not that long after the game launched. Before this, your sims would just pass on and you would never see them again. There was no way for you to bring them back with Ambrosia or use the Death Flower. Both of these things were added in this patch as well. The ghosts can have emotions and they have different abilities based on how they may have passed away. So like if your sim died from electrocution, they can kind of like shake hands and electrocute other sims. And I really like those little details and the things they added with ghosts. I feel like they needed to make ghosts pretty good if they were going to add them after the fact in the game. The next thing on this list is pools. It's really ridiculous to me that pools were not in the base game considering one of the things that a lot of people who don't even play The Sims know about The Sims is that you can drown Sims in a pool if you remove the pool ladder. Now you can't do that in The Sims 4, you do have to build some kind of fence around the pool if you want this to happen, but pools were not added to the game originally. They were added in a patch a little while afterwards. This of course also added the death by drowning, which is one of my favorite deaths in the game because it brings me back to my childhood <laughs> and just killing Sims by removing pool ladders as a 10 year old. Um, yeah. <laughs> But this is one of those things that really helped the game kind of move along because it wasn't that good at launch. You know, we all know that The Sims had tons of flaws, still does, but it definitely added to it because you could add beautiful pools, you could add beautiful pools and decks on your roof, just so many cool ways that you can use pools in this game. The next thing that wasn't added until 2017 was toddlers. We actually played this game for a very, very long time without toddlers, and this was one of their biggest updates. Adding toddlers to the game added a whole new life stage, and in the original base game, when you would have a baby, and you would get that baby to the point where it aged up or aged it up manually, the baby would flip out of the bassinet and be a school-aged child. This was not cool. <laughs> And so many players were outraged about toddlers and it was so frustrating to see this happen all the time and it just made you not want to play the game because you didn't get to like teach this child how to walk or talk or do anything and it made it feel a lot less like a lifestyle simulator than anything. Like, it was just bad. It was bad. Toddlers were a total necessity. The next thing is actually the business and athletic career. These were both added at the exact same time as well as being able to take family leave and I believe paid time off from your career in The Sims 4. It's kind of crazy to me that athletic and business weren't in the base game considering they've been in like every single base games of The Sims. It's very weird, but not having a business career is just like odd, I guess. I don't know how to explain how it makes me feel like I'm like, why was there no business and athletic career? There were barely any careers in The Sims 4 base game at launch, and that's crazy to me. These are some of my like staple careers that I want to fit sim. I obviously put them in athletic. If I want like a, just a generic dad sim, they're always in the business career with me, and that's just what I like. The next thing is actually a build tool, and that is basements. We did not have basements. You could not make torture basements in The Sims 4 base game when it launched, which is crazy. You couldn't actually even go past, I believe, two levels or maybe three levels, and now you can add another level going up, but you weren't able to go down at all in The Sims base game. Being able to have basements kind of unlocks a lot of possibilities and is really, really fun because you can have like kids who live down there or maybe like a teenager who lives down there or just like a fun play area or a secret dungeon. <laughs> It was really weird to not have basements for a while, but I'm really glad that they did make their comeback as they should have. The next thing is terrain tools, which is kind of crazy. Terrain tools are what you use to be able to manipulate the terrain, you know, make hills, make like weird craters in the middle of nowhere for no reason. And honestly, I feel like adding terrain tools added a bunch of creativity to the community because a lot of players were able to use these terrain tools to make crazy, crazy builds that are just so impressive and so beautiful. And it's honestly just really cool to watch. And I absolutely love watching people who use a lot of terrain tools because it's just really inspiring. 
The next thing was actually added recently with the Eco Lifestyle patch, and that is firefighters. So, you know, back in the day, back in my day, uh, they had the smoke detectors you could have in your home that would alert you to a fire, or you could get the sprinkler system that would kind of put the fire out for you, but it was quite expensive for a starter home. Put the fires out yourself, but you weren't able to actually call the fire department to come and save you. Now, if you have one of those smoke detectors in your home near the fire, it will actually alert the fire department to come immediately, or you can click on the fire and call them and they will come and help you. And this is something that's been in all of The Sims games, you know, we really missed it. I really missed firefighters and I didn't realize that I needed them so badly. The next thing on this list is a little bit ridiculous that it wasn't in the game at launch, and that is the Move Objects Cheat. This is a cheat that pretty much all builders use in every single build that they do because it lets you put things closer together, kind of combine objects, and get things outside of the grid. So it's kind of a necessity when it comes to building, and I don't think I could ever build a house without Move Objects on. It is very difficult. And I know that a lot of builders were like, why is there no move objects cheat? Why does this not exist? And it was very, very, very exciting when we got it back. So the next thing on this list is genealogy. And this is why there were no family trees in The Sims 4 for quite a while. <laughs> we didn't have family trees, so you couldn't go back and see all of your Sims ancestors. And this is kind of why there are no ancestor family trees for any of the townies like there were in previous games. Like in The Sims 2, you could go back like generations and see who someone's grandparents were and like get to know their name and see a little bit about them. And it just made you feel a little bit more connected to your Sims because they felt more like real people. And not having this in The Sims 4 was a very odd experience. The next thing that's just kind of funny is we weren't actually able to lock doors. I recently went back and watched a really, really old James Turner the Get to Work like regs to riches series or something and i remember him not being able to lock the small apartment that he had like on top of the store that he was living in and it was really funny because like in the middle of the day there would just be people like eating food or he would like delete the doors because we weren't able to lock them and i just think that's something really weird that they kind of just didn't do and ignored and the fact that they had to add it in, in a patch is just funny to me like why would you not let us be able to lock doors i don't think i could survive the hunter baby challenge if i didn't lock my babies in a room <laughs> The next thing is actually being able to hire service workers like nannies and bartenders to come to your home. Of course, there were always bartenders that would be out in the world and be at different bars, but the bartenders that you could bring to your home weren't actually a thing, and they didn't have nannies, and I don't think any of my personal gameplay would go very well if I didn't have nannies, because I hire them and get them to do a lot of things for me. The next one is the hidden grilled cheese aspiration. Now, I bet some of you watching this video don't actually know that this exists, but if your sim eats three grilled cheese sandwiches in a row, they'll actually unlock the ability to try out a new aspiration. And the bonus thing for this aspiration when you complete it is that you can summon a plate of grilled cheese to your sim at any time. This will just have them, you know, beautiful grilled cheese appear and they can eat it and never have to cook again, which is quite fun and grilled cheese is delicious. So why would you not want to try that? But this was added to the game in a patch, and it's just one of those things that some players don't know about, and players who do are like, oh yeah, give me that grilled cheese. We love this kind of weird stuff in The Sims 4. I will definitely link an entire video on the grilled cheese aspiration down below. The next thing is lot traits. Now, lot traits were added around the time that City Living was released, and they allow you to kind of add some personality to your Sims lots. There's things like Penny Pixies, where you'll get some random money every once in a while, or things like Gremlins, where sometimes all of the mechanical and plumbing objects in your home will just break down in the middle of the night or you can live near a volcano or you can have dogs show up like just the weirdest things that are added with every single pack and it's just a lot of fun to have lot traits it's one of those things that we kind of never expected to get because it wasn't really a thing before but they're really really cool and you can use them to kind of manipulate your gameplay in a way the next thing, if you get a little bit motion sick, you may want to close your eyes, is the first person camera. This was added in a patch, of course, and it allows you to kind of see what your sims are seeing, especially if they're like cooking or something, it can be really fun to watch. And you can see everything that your sim is seeing, you can watch your kids do homework, you can like watch a movie through their eyes if you want to, and it allows for some weird videos to be created in this game. The next thing is kind of a silly one, which is dishwashers. You'd think that dishwashers would be added to a life sim, but you know, sometimes they just forget things. And they added dishwashers to a patch a little while later. It's a very random one, and I'm like, oh, how did we survive without dishwashers? But I guess the sims were the dishwashers. And the final thing on my list is the configurable stairs. For a very long time, for about five years exactly in The Sims, because this came with the fifth year anniversary update, we weren't able to make anything but straight stairs. You couldn't make them turn, you couldn't make U-shaped stairs, you couldn't do anything with stairs except just make them wider. Being able to do this unlocked a lot of creative options for Sims players and makes it a lot more fun to build because you can make your stairs way more interesting and more fun to run up. We're still hoping for spiral staircases someday though. 
But yeah, guys, those are my things that were not in The Sims 4 base game at launch. If you have any other ones that you really like to think about, leave them in the comments down below because I love looking back on this kind of stuff and thinking about all the things that we played without for so long. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment just letting me know anything that you want to let me know. I really hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.